Hey everyone, today I'm going to be dropping a feather and a coin in a long vacuum chamber to show you that they hit the ground at the same time. So at the end of the last Apollo 15 moonwalk, Commander David Scott grabbed a feather and a hammer, held them up on the moon, and then dropped them both at the same time. And they dropped and they hit the ground at the exact same time. I guess one of the reasons uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings than on the moon. And uh, so we thought we'd try it here for you. Uh, the feather happens to be appropriately a falcon feather for our falcon. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? Mr. Galileo was correct in his findings. Now this is a really cool experiment showing that the acceleration due to gravity doesn't depend on the mass of the object. The only reason that a feather and a hammer fall at different rates on Earth is because of the air around, causing more air friction on the feather than the hammer, and so the feather slows down a lot more than the hammer. So I have this long vacuum chamber tube. I'm going to be putting the coin and the feather inside of it and holding it on top with a magnet. I actually glued one little iron filing to the feather, so it actually barely sticks to the magnet. And then I'll be pulling the magnet away and letting it drop inside the tube. Okay, dropping a feather in air. Three, two, one. <laughs> that took a long time to hit the bottom. Okay, now let's vacuum out the tube. Okay, dropping a feather in a vacuum. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> it's like it almost got sucked to the bottom. It just dropped. We can do it the other way too so you don't think the vacuum's sucking it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> so how is it that something heavy and something light can have the same acceleration due to gravity? Isn't this thing heavier? It has a larger force on it. I mean, in my arm it feels heavy, and this duct tape feels light. Same with the feather and the coin. The feather is really light and the coin is heavier. So why do they hit the ground at the same time? Well, the reason is because of something called inertia. Now, inertia is the resistance to change in velocity. What that means is that the higher mass something has, the more resistance it has to change its velocity. So if it's at rest, it wants to continue at rest. If it's moving at one meter per second, it wants to continue moving at one meter per second. And if you want to change that, it's harder to change it for something heavy than something light. So when gravity pulls on a heavy weight, the force on it is greater, but the heavy object has a larger inertia, so it's harder to move and they exactly balance each other out so that it has the same rate of falling as something that's light. For example, we can even take the moon and a golf ball and drop them towards Earth and they should hit the Earth at about the same time. Okay, here we go, three, two, one. and boom. They hit the earth at the same time. That's because even though the weight of the moon is 162 septillion pounds, compared to a golf ball which only weighs 0.1 pounds, they're going to fall to the earth with the same rate of acceleration. So they're going to hit the ground at the same time. That's because the moon has a giant inertia, so it's really hard to move. So it takes a giant force to move it. And the ball doesn't have that much of inertia, but it's also not being pulled that hard. So they exactly balance each other out and hit the ground at the same time. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And also hit the bell to be notified when my latest video comes out. And check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab experiment boxes. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.